So if we take this ketone and expose it to trace amounts of acid, we are going to end up with a racemic mixture. So what's going on here? Well, whenever we are dealing with aldehydes or ketones and they are exposed to either acids or bases, we are going to be looking at the enol or enolate chemistry. So in this case, if we take our ketone and protonate that, giving us the corresponding protonated intermediate like so, and then pull off this alpha hydrogen with water or whatever else we have floating around, we are going to end up with, after our proton transfer, with an enol species. And here is the important part about this enol. The carbon that used to be chiral is no longer chiral, that is an sp2 hybridized species. Which means that now, if we are going to reverse our equilibrium and start going back by reprotonating our enol, making the protonated intermediate and then doing the final proton transfer, we can potentially have this carbon over here reverse its stereochemistry and form the enantiomer of the starting material. And, because this is an equilibrium and neither product is favored in this equilibrium, we are going to end up with a racemic mixture. Easy peasy!